to open up or not to open up? This is a recurring question in China's long history. Nearly 180 years ago, the great power's formidable navies cracked open China's doors. And four decades ago, eager for progress, China decided to open up to the world and began trading with other countries. This is Shirko, a once small fishing village and China's first gateway to the world. In 1979, Guangdong province suggested to the central government that Shirko's geographical position should be exploited to conduct economic and technological exchanges with other countries. Liang Xian was involved in the port's construction. He was sent to Hong Kong by China Merchants Group. Shirko Industrial Zone. It took less than four months from conception to construction. The Chinese government's swiftness in making decisions surprised many people. Over 30 tons of explosives were set off to blow up the hill at Chirko Port, marking the beginning of China's economic reform. Two years later, the port was put into operation and became China's first self-financed container port. Right? Processing materials, processing samples, assembly, compensation trade, bonded areas, land policy, and bonus distribution all began here. In nearly a few years, Shenzhen was completely transformed. Since then, more places around China followed Shenzhen footsteps. In 1984, China's 14 wealthiest coastal cities opened their ports. In 1985, three major economic open-up regions were set up along the coast. In 1992, 13 border cities opened their frontier ports. With its stable environment, open market and strong purchasing power, China attracted ever more foreign investors. In four decades, over 900,000 foreign-owned enterprises registered in China. China's accumulative use of foreign capital exceeded 2 trillion U.S. dollars, and its foreign investment grew from 920 million U.S. dollars in 1983 to 136.3 billion U.S. dollars in 2017, a 148-fold increase making it the world's second largest country in terms of foreign capital inflow.